Oh my God. These people will go any length to make profit. Even if they have to poison people, they will do it. What is going on? What is happening to the world? Chemically injected watermelons are hitting the market. Apparently, because they're in such high demand that they are injecting the ones that aren't ready with chemicals so that they look riper and redder and they last longer on shelves. In recent months, a peculiar trend has emerged on social media, with numerous videos surfacing of individuals purchasing what seems to be counterfeit food products. The phenomenon originated in the United States when several people began to observe anomalies in the watermelons available at supermarkets. So I got this watermelon up and I like to rinse my watermelon before I cut it and it's like pretty. Does anybody have problems with their watermelon like this? The unexpected discovery has sparked widespread curiosity and concern, prompting many to question the authenticity and safety of the food supply. There are numerous video recordings available online where individuals are seen purchasing watermelons from supermarkets and noticing peculiarities. So I cut watermelons for my kids and they're all bringing it right back saying they don't like the texture. And I've seen enough videos of people posting rubbery watermelon. I can't believe I got one. I got a rubbery watermelon. The texture is so weird. Like you got to bend it so far before it will break. This is a really thick cut, so that one was easier. What's going on with the watermelon this season? And with the prices, this is like an $8 watermelon. They're not going to eat it. They won't eat it. They think it tastes the texture. It's rubber. On some occasions, the watermelons give the impression of being made of plastic and produce odd sounds. Oh my gosh. This is the craziest thing you've ever seen. I feel like the goat is dying. Mm. It's more like an acid ball. Yeah, I feel like the goat is dying. Yep. What in the... It's more like an acid ball. Yep. It doesn't smell good. Oh my gosh. That thing was fizzing and popping. Furthermore, many times, the watermelons feel like they are made of rubber. Not only was the watermelon rubbery in texture, but there was something else about it that was troubling many people. The anomalous appearance and unsettling scent around the watermelons caught the attention of numerous onlookers, creating a sense of unease. Okay, y'all, I threw this uh, watermelon out over a week ago. Uh, it smelled really good, bought it for more cut it open and it was like plastic. Tasting it was absolutely horrible. Uh, I didn't really know what to do with it so I threw it outside. This is a week later. It looks like it looks like mud. Uh, what's going on? Nevertheless, it wasn't just the watermelons that were causing concern. This is the There you go. This was the original slice, this one was a little bit thinner. I could take this and twist it. It doesn't break. That's gross. It's literally rubber. It's like plastic. It's like foamy. Observations have been made regarding a similar trend occurring with avocados, blueberries, bananas, and numerous other items. Have y'all seen those videos going around about the rubber bananas and avocados? Well, I think I may have got one. I'm in Texas, by the way. I did an H-E-B curbside order two weeks ago and I asked for two ripe avocados that were ready to eat. I got home and unpacked my groceries and they were rock hard. I figured, okay, these people just can't read, right? They're just not ripe. So I put them on my counter two weeks ago. This avocado should be moldy by now. What the F, H-E-B? It just took me literally 30 seconds to cut it apart. It is so hard. 
other side of the shell came off. Have you ever seen that happen? Let me show you what it feels like. Well, not that you can feel it, but look at this. I am pushing so hard, like so hard that it's turning my finger white and it's not even denting. Like, let me try to cut it with my fingernail. Look at that. What in the actual, what is going on here? This is a tag on it, avocado from Mexico. Do these numbers mean something? Like, I, I just don't understand. There's a close up of it. <laughs> what is happening here? Look at this. I can't break it apart. Like it doesn't, it doesn't move. Guys, what the hell is this? This is not food. This is 100% not food. Look at this. This is rubber, guys, this is, this is not food. Bought this avocado two days ago from the same store. Let's try it. Okay, normal avocado, right? Look, squishy. Let me stick my finger in it. That's an avocado. What in the fuck is this? I think I'm gonna put one half in the fridge and one half on the counter and do like a date stamp and see for like the next week or two what happens to it. What do y'all think? Should I do that? At this point, question everything. So now I've got it sitting on the counter. We're gonna see how many days it takes for it to decompose if it does at all because I don't believe it to be food. So my mother was showing me that she opened a banana that she thinks that these are not real bananas. We got it from the supermarket, but when she opens it and she breaks it in half, it gets very tough and doesn't really break. And if, when it pulls, it's like it's glue. It's very tight and doughy. I've never ever seen a banana like that. I don't know if it's just our banana or if it's this brand from Costco. From Costco, but at the end of the day, it looks very, very fake and Play-Doh-y. Does anyone else know what happened? And this has been in the fridge for like three weeks, by the way. And it keeps freezing. Like, why do all the fruits keep freezing? Try to bend it. Here, here. What the fuck? Ah. What the fuck, yo? There's no seeds in there. Oh my, yo, I'm man. posting wow. it. What the fuck? No way. No way. And this is the other one that. Yo, that's crazy. Sam's Club. Dream eggs. In this upcoming video, a woman recounts her experience buying blueberries at the supermarket. After giving some to her child, she noticed that one of the blueberries appeared to be rubbery. This is something to watch out for. It's left in her little bowl and I put it down the drain for the garbage disposal. Um, and I push the button, um, you know, it's doing its thing, but there's a clinking and it sounds like something's stuck. So I go in the drain and there's a blueberry that's not breaking apart, it's not. I pick it up and... Why is there a rubber blueberry in my toddler's snack? After she cut it in half, the object's interior revealed a texture reminiscent of silicone or some other similar material quite peculiar, don't you think? In the next video, things take an even stranger turn. A woman can be seen testing out various items of food in a supermarket by using a magnet. The outcome of this unconventional experiment is truly unexpected. Look at this shape. Put a magnet that I got from here. It's the great chicken. Try for that shit. Not bad. Following the widespread circulation of these videos, a significant number of individuals have begun to raise concerns about the potential presence of counterfeit food in our diets. The amount of people being genuinely scared by that video genuinely scares me. I'm gonna teach you how to not buy one of these watermelons by what this post is saying to look out for. 
So number one, if you cut the watermelon and rub a cotton ball on it or a paper towel and it turns dark red, that means that the fruit has been injected with this chemical. Also, if it has white dust on the rind, I feel like I've definitely bought a watermelon with white dust. I just kind of like figured it was from like the transit in the watermelon trucks. And apparently you should look for ones that have the yellow patch, which I have always been told make your watermelon sweeter if it has a yellow patch on it. You know, like you always see people tapping the watermelons, right? Isn't that how you learn to pick a watermelon? That's how I learned to pick a watermelon. So it'll be naturally sweet in flavor and, and ripe if it has yellow on it, so. Here's how to not eat chemicals 101. If you were to cut into a watermelon and it had this kind of consistency, then I would recommend not consuming it. This video that I got tagged in states that they are selling us fake fruit, then shows this guy trying to bend this piece of watermelon, and it kind of looks rubbery. It takes quite a bit of effort before the piece of watermelon finally breaks, and a lot of people are concerned about this. Now, personally, I don't think that we're being sold fake fruit, but what I do think happened here is that this watermelon was improperly stored and therefore is extremely overripe or on the verge of rotting. Overripe watermelon typically has the same appearance to raw beef, and there's a lot less moisture in it, which makes it far more flexible. When you consume it, it's going to have a much drier and grittier taste as well that a lot of people really don't like. You can actually test whether or not a watermelon is going to be overripe as well before you cut into it by listening to it when you hit it. If it makes a dull thud, then it probably is a little bit too ripe. What are your thoughts on this matter? Let us know in the comment section below. And hey, if you would like to support us, you can hit that subscription button and like the video. It helps us reach more people. See you in our next video. I'm